Hello there, it's Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astronomologist. Welcome to your new moon in Aries forecast for April 5th. I'm excited about this one. First of all, the number five is about shifts and Aries is about new beginnings. So you can imagine this is going to be an awesome new moon experience. And it happens at 9.50 a.m. Universal Time London, 4.50 a.m. Eastern Time New York and 1.50 a.m. Los Angeles Pacific Time. Now, Aries is a fire sign. It is the first sign. It represents going for it, not being held back in any way energetically, right? So understanding that it is your right to feel free to choose your destiny, choose your next direction, be independent, be strong. So this signifies a fresh start in every regard because new moons are also about new beginnings. So we are at a new era and it's precipitated by many other energetics as well. There's a building energy this year that is shifting you to the core and shifting your beliefs and understandings to the core. It means breaking negative habits that have held you back. It means setting yourself free to birth that new life that you've wanted so much, but have maybe sabotaged in some regards through especially things that you believed about yourself. So the sense of forward momentum is really reinforced too by Mercury having just stationed direct a week ago. And by mid-April, Mercury will be in Aries. So you're really going to feel that natural forward flowing motion as we reap the impact of this Aries new moon in the next couple of weeks. Now this is the fifth and final of five new moons at 15 degrees and it is April 5th. So that number five, as I said, which is about shifts, you know, five sits on a rocker. It faces left and right. It is the middle digit of one through nine. So this is an important moment. It is representing new directions, decisions, multitasking, you know, getting clear on your choices. Now, Throughout April, Pluto and Saturn are merging closer and closer together. The closest they'll be this year until we get more towards the end of 2019. And this is important because of that big event that I keep bringing up in January 2020. So your attention is being placed on Pluto and Saturn, which are in Capricorn. And that combination means a total reboot of your divine mission, your career meaning a new direction. And so this Aries energy is really reinforcing that, especially because they're so close. They're within three degrees now. And so you need to move ahead in some way. Even, look, take a step. We don't know what the results will be ever, right? But it doesn't mean you shouldn't move forward. If you don't move forward, there will be no results, no feedback. And Aries is all about getting that forward momentum that then brings feedback. And you then just correct your course and move to another direction. But, you know, Pluto and Saturn, this conjunction in Capricorn, Pluto is the leader. Pluto, you know, is the transformational energy that goes straight to the truth. It's the Scorpio planet. And Saturn, which governs Capricorn, coming together with Pluto in its own sign, that's associated with the 10th house in astrology. That's your career. So you can see the storyline here. You're fulfilling your divine mission at a higher level now. So, Here's the thing. You need to also understand your own divine blueprint. You need to know what energy was set into momentum at the moment of your birth, which is described by your birthday, birth name, birth time, birthplace, your divine blueprint. So to know more about who you are at soul level, go to blueprintclass.com where I go into your code with you so you can really get a deeper sense of who you are or you can also click on this link it'll take you to a page where you can register for that class so this is important because you want to know about your own numbers to take advantage of this huge shift that is happening for all of us right now uh, there's not been really anything like it in a very long time and i'm talking hundreds of years that's how powerful this is because remember we also ended the mayan calendar just a few years ago so there's a lot of forward momentum now now during this new moon the sun and moon square saturn in capricorn now we just talked about saturn in capricorn and so this will require 
effort in pushing through obstacles now. So you want to act on your projects because the action itself will set free energy that then you won't feel like it's difficult, right? But inaction will put a lot of pressure on you. So you need to just, you know, accept any obstacles, challenges that come along, which is all about growth, right? Overcoming them is going to make you stronger. That's what Capricorn and Saturn are all about. The discipline to just be able to adjust, shift your energy to a higher vibration, and then reap the happy results down the road because you're acting like a leader. You're taking responsibility, right? So this is really a powerful Aries new moon, as you can see. It is very connected to your new kind of growth. It's a spiritual growth and a literal practical getting adjusted, getting acclimated to who you are in terms of leadership. This is Aries. This is Saturn and Pluto coming together. This is both going retrograde this month, both those planets. Um, this is indicating that the next level is here now and rising up and taking advantage of the forward momentum is your key to happiness and success. So make sure you discover who you are personally and who your friends are and your family and colleagues. If you know their birthday, that's enough to get a lot of detail about your purpose. So make sure you know that information so you can navigate your life with ease and confidence. Go to blueprintclass.com or just click on this link. It'll take you to the same page. I hope you have an incredible new moon in Aries. This is really, really exciting. And uh, yeah, enjoy it. And don't be afraid. You know, go for it. Lots of love for me. And I'll see you for our second full moon in Libra, which is really rare in a couple of weeks. Lots of love. Thank you.